Pecan Y is another another acquisition. So I'm gonna do a file, new project, and uh, project number say two, and call this analysis underscore two. And this is an analysis, a DB extraction. So it's saved in a different uh, format. Then I click OK. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my ad. And I want to choose the um, ad and then the image file. And I've downloaded uh, this, this file here. I'll choose it and click open. This is a much more interesting file than the, the one we looked at uh, previously. So I'll go to content view, um, extract images, and click this and uh, actually extract it to C drive. Then you see um, the different files here. Puppy. So I right click that, choose view, and choose uh, paint. Yeah, I can paint it. Okay, and click OK. So I've got a puppy there. Uh, images, um, right click that, choose view, and uh, choose paint again. I can choose this option, I always use this app, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Sounds like cats uh, and dogs. Okay, bill of rights, I could uh, right click that, choose view. Okay, There's some amendments. Um, now we got uh, the extended here. Now if I double click that, then you'll see it uh, brings up the files in that folder. And actually you can see it over here too. Um, so when we got C drive and you got this, we got our extend, I can expand it. You see it deleted now, uh, it deleted now. And we got this deleted now, recycle bin. Um, deleted no, and then we got this desktop INI. That's not been deleted. System volume information. Look at that. And uh, then we click deleted files. Now deleted files. You see, there's a. Um, image file here. If I right click that and choose view and then choose um, I don't know, paint again. You see we got an image. This one that was deleted. And then there's a hacker's manifesto. And um, if I right click that choose view it'll bring up this um, this manifesto here. So this one is a little bit more interesting. Um, it can bring up Word documents that uh, that we might want to take a look at. Now if you right click here and you choose uh, copy file, then I can actually save that Word document in like that P15 folder. If I come up here and right click on this and choose copy file, you can save it in the P15 folder or wherever you want. Now, if I go look at those folders, you see we actually got the files here. Okay. And um, I can do searches here. Um, sometimes the searches uh, are beneficial. Sometimes they really don't get what you're trying to achieve. And you see search for the pattern, search for files name, case sensitivity, a lot of different options here. And you can do registry searches, internet history, so forth. We're not going to go into that much detail right at this point on this. And um, choose that. And then I click uh, OK. And you see it then finds that. So if you have 10,000 files to search through, probably you're going to use that search a lot more than just if you have a few like like my first example.
But anyway, that shows you another another extraction, and uh, I could save that project if I wanted to, or or just exit out. 